How's fight week been treating you? Easy, man. Smooth. I drove down. I didn't have to hop on a flight. It's great. Hey, Dustin. Rob here, mate. Let me tell you, it is a, a great pleasure of mine to be able to talk to you. I'm a big fan of yours, and I love your fight style and the way you fight. Um, I want to I highlight one thing that I think I see mostly in all your fights that I, you know, I, I took a lot from just watching. It's that your mentality going into these fights. It's not, it's not like some fights you're ready to fight, some fights you're not. You're in there till the bell ends the entire fight. And I want to ask, like, is that something you were just born with or is that something you need to just keep grips on? You know what I mean? I appreciate that, Rob, and I'm a big fan of yours as well. No, that's just something I have in me. You know, before I ever laced up a pair of gloves and, and started fighting, that was something I knew. That kind of what drew me to fighting, like watching these fights and watching boxing matches back in the day. I knew whatever these guys were showing, I had that. I can do that. I knew I had that grit before I had even proven it to myself and, and thrown punches and exchanged with another man in a sports setting like that. I just knew I had that. Yeah, and you know, it's... it's... It's remarkable to say because, like, you've been in the game for so long. It's, people don't even realize you're, you're only a year older than me. You're, you know, you're, you're, for how long you've been in the game, everyone expects you to be so much older. Like, how, how do you not, how does that not tire you out? You know, like, just being in the game for so long. Being in, not just the game, man. You've been in these hard fights. Like, look at your resume. You've fought absolute killers since day dot. How, how, how do you not get tired? How do you not build that, that training fatigue or that fight fatigue? I do. I do get tired. Uh, it's just about balance. Yeah. You know, yep. Yep. mindfulness, taking it one day at a time. It's, it's, it's a lot of things that I didn't do so well in, at certain times in my career. But as I get older and more mature in the sport, this is my 30th fight in the UFC. I just learned <laughs> along the way, you know, the, the, at the end of the day, I still love fighting. So that keeps me in it 100 percent. Mm. It's just to keep up the daily training, to keep up the hunger, to want to get better, trying new techniques, being on the gym in the, in the, on the match with these young guys every day. That stuff, you know, I need to listen to my body more as I get older. So I come back to the gym wanting to be there because I'll get burnt out. You know, if, if I, I'm in the gym every day for months, I'll, I'll go crazy, man. I have to pull away to where I, I urge to train. Yeah, no, I feel you. I completely understand, man. <laughs> Now, Dustin, yeah. you described this fight against Benoit Saint-Denis as the means to right the ship. Dustin, what do you feel needs to be corrected to get the ship back on track? Uh, properly block high kicks would be a good one. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Was that it? Yeah, I think that, that's about it. Um, now, Benoit Saint-Denis called you out uh, last night, uh, uh, his last fight, rather, and in all honesty, I thought that was wishful thinking on his part, but were you surprised at all when that came to fruition that the UFC decided to match you up against a guy nine places below you in the rankings? Yeah, I was actually at Madison Square Garden whenever he, he said my name, and I was like, the same thing you said. I thought that was wishful thinking. But when they called me with the, his name... Uh, I was surprised. You know, I thought it was going to be another, a former champion or a legend fight, something like that. But, I, hey, I respect this sport, and I honor this, man. I understand this is a young guy, finished his last five opponents, representing France, got a lot of momentum. Lightweight needs new blood. So let's see. I'll, I'll toss myself in that fire. Is the mentality the same? Is the mentality moving forward, the game plan the same, like another day in the office? Obviously, you've stopped these up-and-comers plenty of, plenty of times. You know, like one of the few old guards, like just, just hanging in there, doing your work. Is it, is it the same, another day in the office? It's another day in the office, but like what kept me disciplined this camp and what kept me focused this camp is it's like a challenge to myself. It's a personal thing. This young guy, 27 or 28 years old, finished five components in a row. I've been here a long time. I, I lost my last one. This is a challenge to show myself, hey, I still got what it takes. Dustin, now, Dustin, his only career loss was his UFC debut, and he certainly struggled, particularly in that second round. Do you analyze tape like that, and can you take much from that performance? You know, I can kind of see things he did. I, I have watched it a few times since I accepted this fight, but I, I believe it was short notice, and it was at 170 pounds. So he fought a, bit, a, guy, a man who was a lot bigger than him. But the things I did take away is his grit and his tenacity, and he kept walking forward. He's a fighter. You know, he, he proved that his debut. 
Well, Dustin, it's always, always a massive highlight whenever we see you on the card. We want to thank you so much for your time on the show today and wish you all the best this weekend. It's going to be a cracker. Thank you so much, man. Yeah, don't miss 299. It's going down. I wish you all the best, my man. You as well, bro. Yeah, there he was, Dustin the Diamond Poirier. And I have no idea, Rob, how this fight ends, but Dustin is a guy that no matter what happens, he's going to go down in history as one of the best to ever do it. He's certainly a future Hall of Famer. Your opinions on Dustin? Yeah, much, much similar to yours. This is probably one of the fights I'm most excited for on the card. Whenever Dustin turns up to a fight, it is, you know you're in for a barn burner. So I, I, and then speaking to him now, you understand the mentality, that doggedness that he keeps up, that he, he burns out like all the others and then comes back. He, he takes time from training to make sure he balances it all right. Like, it's just reassuring because much like him, we've been in the game for a long time. He, like I mentioned, it, everyone thinks he's much older than he is because of how long he's been in the game, how many fights he's had, but he's only a year older than myself, you know, so... It's good to see we, we, we're juggling the same things and that he gets in there and just puts on performances. I am very keen to see how he bounces back because from what he said, I, I can resonate to a degree. It, it's about proving to yourself, getting back on that horse, that this isn't how the story ends. How much would that motivate a fighter, wanting to prove the doubters wrong? Well, it's, it's not the doubters, it's yourself. Yeah. You've got to prove it to yourself. You've got to, you've got to decide what you want to stand up for. And, uh, mate, that's the most important thing. Well, the rise of MMA in France has been something to behold. I mean, you see what Cyril garn has been able to produce recently, even outside the UFC with guys like Cedric Dumbay. I wanted to ask you, Rob, did you feel that when you were over there fighting Marvin Vittoria, like the, the excitement around MMA? Oh, certainly. You, you know what? I felt the energy of the fight culture there. Yeah. And we saw on that card, and, and, and not just that card, on all... The up-and-coming French athletes, we've just seen like a massive push in MMA, really, of, of, of French talent. There's so much untapped talent that's there that has just been emerged with the France card, with, I don't know, with these, these other pioneers of, of French MMA you know, spearheading the charge. Yeah, and Benoit Saint-Denis is certainly one of those guys. Uh, we can't wait to see him in action this weekend.